Yes, uh, my name is Lieutenant Colonel Sena Kofi Kunauto. Uh, for this exercise, I'm the POC, like the liaison between you guys and the Ghana Armed Forces. All right, so as part of uh, African Lion 22, exercise African Lion 22, this aspect is the medical outreach program here in Karaga, where we came here to screen the local communities and address their health needs. So that is exactly what is going on right now. Well, uh, uh, healthcare is paramount in every facet of the community. But as you can see, this is a deprived community. It's a, more or less a village setup. So things like this, uh, it's very important to come here and listen to them and uh, address their health needs. So, the importance of building this relationship is, uh, you know, you guys just can't come in and come to Karaga, passing through the necessary protocols. So, my job, for instance, is to liaise between you and the Ghana forces. For example, you know, we came here somewhere in February to do a recognizance of the area together with a, a team from the U.S. Army. So, I played a very uh, significant role by involving the political heads and the community leaders, as well as the, the health uh, personnel within the Karaga district. So we had a very fruitful deliberations, and all this plan was drawn on that day. That is how come you see a lot of successful events going on today. Yes, so as I said earlier on, we came here to, first of all, do a recce of the area and create the awareness of our coming today. So, for instance, our coming here made the political heads to disseminate the information to the community members and the surrounding communities. We got to know approximately the number of people we are going to see today. And then we got to also know the number of the health um, practitioners here that will augment our team from GAF. So I think it was very important to, to have come here first of all for the recce and to do a proper liaison between you guys and then the Ghana forces. Yeah, so this current event, as you can see, is we are all overwhelmed by the turn up of the uh, citizens. They are very much appreciative and they hope we repeat this as often as possible. But of course, it depends on logistics available. So it is very important the community people are very appreciative of what we've done to them today, as you can see. And I think the numbers will keep on increasing. And the, the timings we set for ourselves to, 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 to finish the exercise, we're going to extend it because I'm sure by the time we are about to leave, there will be more people available to receive. So we have a team of about uh, 35 medical uh, personnel. We have about four medical officers and the rest uh, paramedics. Of course, don't forget that some of them are deployed in the outer communities. That is uh, Zandua and uh, Nogundungu, 40 and 70 kilometers from here, respectively. So we provided the medics, and of course you guys provided the logistics in terms of the drugs and the consumer goods. So, uh, when we came on the recce, somewhere in February, as I told you earlier on, we involved the, the, the district health personnel, the district health directorate. So based on their top 10 uh, diseases, the top 10. Based on that, the consumables and the drugs were purchased. So we talk of the malaria, pneumonia, uh, on top of my head, I can't really mention all, upper respiratory tract infections, uh, women issues and all that. 
So based on the top 10 ailments they gave us, uh, that is how come we prepared the drugs and the com uh, consumables accordingly. Well, uh, everything is so fantastic, so fine, so good, so far so good. And uh, we just hope that we'll be able to see as many as possible of the community members before we take leave from here. And I pray and hope that uh, maybe there should be another event uh, of this sort in the nearest future. Yes.